Yesha's Fun Club. Hello everyone, my name is Yesha. Today we are going to read Wonders of Learning, Discover Physics, A First Introduction to Science. Energy. Energy in simple terms is the ability to do work. Energy is everywhere and is responsible for changes, chemical reactions, biological activity and movement happening around us. Energy can also take up many different forms. Energy is measured in standard units called joules. Nuclear energy, nuclear fusion in stars. So this is how it is. Electric energy. So yeah, see it? Battery and battery. As you can see, battery powers the light. Mag magnetic energy, so it's like a magnet. How you like use a magnet? So a magnet stick to some iron. Yeah, or a magnet stick to a magnet. Potential energy, kinetic energy, chemical energy, thermal energy. So let's move on. Properties of matter. Everything present in the universe is made up of energy or matter. On Earth, matter exists in three main states. Solid, liquid and gas. Plasma and Bose-Einstein condensed are two other states of matter that are achieved under specific conditions in laboratories. Solid, liquid, gas. Or now, we have this. So, so starting with solid. So solid goes to melting and melting goes and liquid goes to vaporation and then it turns into gas and then it goes deposition to solid or it can go to the other way. Gas, condensation, then freezing. So liquid and then it turns freezing to solid. Or it can go to sublimation back to gas. So it goes gas, liquid, solid, or it can go liquid, gas, solid. It can go two different ways. It can go one or it can go here. So here are the states of matter. States of matter. Solids are made up of tightly packed atoms that assume a definite defined shape the atoms in a solid are not free to move around a liquid does not have a specific shape it merely takes up the shape of the container in which it is stored this is because the atoms of a liquid are not as tightly packed as a solid. A gas is made up of atoms that have virtually no attraction to each other. If you release gas in the air, the atoms will diffuse into the atmosphere. So now it's change of state. Certain solids, liquids and gases can under specific circumstances be interconvented. A classic example is water. When heated, water becomes water vapor. Gas, when cooled, it becomes ice. Solid, like energy, matter can neither be created nor destroyed. It can convert from one form to another. Now yeah. let's do electricity. Electricity is a form of energy that is produced through the movement of charged particles there are two types of electricity static electricity due to uh, accumula accumulation of charges and current electricity from the flow and ele of electrons uses of electricity in the modern world virtually everything is powered by electricity it is turned different sources such as wind tight, the sun, fossil fuels, and radioactive elements. Materials capable of conducting electricity are classified as conductors, while those that
that don't conduct electricity are referred to as insulters. Semiconductors are materials that have properties of both insulation and conduction, which, dependent on simulation, can be controlled. They're, they are vital in the field of electronics as part of a circuit. Electrical appliances are powered directly from the main household power supply or through batteries. So like an example, a TV is powered through a power source. So this is a series cut and then this is a parallel cut. Circuit. A circuit is a closed path with electrical components through which electric current can flow. The components in a circuit can be arranged in parallel or series. So here's a series circuit, here's the parallel circuit. So thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe, hit the like button and give me all the views and turn the notifications and watch part two and part three soon. Bye-bye.